Hey, Jason from X Fanatical. In this video, I will demonstrate the deployment of SafeDoc, a Chrome extension that helps school administrators manage inappropriate features in Google Workspace for Education that Google Admin Console doesn't provide. SafeDoc can be installed in managed Chrome devices, primarily Chromebooks, and desktop Chrome browsers. So, let's see step by step how it works. Step 1 Prerequisites for Deploying SafeDoc. Number 1. To change a series of settings in Admin Console, you need to be a Super Admin role. The link to Google Guide about Super Admin is given in video description. Number 2. SafeDoc has following system requirements that every school's technology environment must meet. In system requirements, there are hardware and software requirements. Hardware. Managed Chromebooks or Windows PC or Mac desktops. Software. Regarding software, you need Google Workspace for Education, formerly G Suite for Education, and a Chrome browser. And number three, you need a license key to enable SafeDoc. If you don't have a license key, please apply for a 30 days trial key. Step two, create a test organization unit. To create organization unit, after logging into Google Admin Console, go directory, then organization unit, then click the yellow plus button, a pop-up will open up. Enter the name of your test organization unit, select the parent. In our test case, I am assigning to the top parent. It is important to note that, for the first time hands-on, we recommend you to experiment in a test organization unit. To read more about adding TestOU, visit the links of Google Documents in video description. Step 3. Add mock accounts to the organization unit. In the next step, you add one or more test accounts to the test organization unit. You can create it in directory, then users. Click the Add New User button on the top of list of existing users. After a pop-up will appear enter the details like first and last name, email of student, you can also add an extra email where the sign and info will be sent. It's a good practice, but not necessary. After completion a password will appear. A password change link will be sent to student in email. student can use the email within 24 hours. But in most cases, these are just few minutes. See more instructions about creating account. A link to Google's Helping Doc is given in description. Step 4. Customize user and browser policies for the organization unit. Now it's time to set some security policies because the Safe Doc Chrome extension cannot be easily shut down or tampered with by students. For example, Chrome Developer Tools. So, let's see these security settings. First, open Devices, Chrome, Settings, User, and Browser Settings. Then select the Organization Unit on the side panel. Then under the first tab, search these settings one by one and proceed accordingly. Disable Developer Tools for force installed extensions. Select Never Allow Use of Built-in Developer. Disable incognito mode. Incognito mode disables all extensions, including force installed applications, including safe dog. So this must be disabled for students' browsers. Whitelist our license server in your Chrome policy settings if you have adopted Google Admin Console's built-in content filter. In the URL blocking section, select blocked URL exceptions, then add a new line that you can see on the screen. To read further about URL blocking, link are given in the video description. Whitelist our license server in your school firewall. This is beyond the scope of this article so we're not going to discuss it here. Please get in touch with your network administrator if you are not in charge of the network. You can verify if our license server is reachable by clicking the URL that you entered in blocking URL exception in the test user's Chrome browser. If it shows you not found, that indicates that our license is whitelisted. Step 5. Install SafeDoc on students' Chrome browsers. Installation of a Chrome extension can be done remotely in your Google Admin Console without physical access to your students' devices. 
Follow this instruction for safe dock deployment specifically. You can also read in detail about any extension deployment in this Google Help article. Automatically install apps and extensions. Links is given in the description. Go to Devices, Chrome, Apps and Extensions and Users and Browsers. Select the Organization Unit again on the side panel, so the extension will be installed only under this Organization Unit. Hover on the yellow plus button and click the yellow Chrome button to find an extension from Chrome Web Store. Now type Safe Dock in the search bar, find Safe Dock and click Select to install. After Safe Dock is added into the list, change its installation policy to Force Install. Download the initial configuration file attached in your trial license confirmation email. In the policy for extensions, upload the attachment file. It's a JSON formatted content. Step 6. Validate the installation of SafeDoc. Validate if SafeDoc is force installed on students' Chrome browsers. We assume you have the mock user added in the organization unit and the account has logged into a Chromebook now. Open the Chrome browser on the Chromebook. In a few seconds, the SafeDoc icon will be displayed in the toolbar in green. It means the extension functions properly. If the icon is colored in gray, it's not functioning properly for the following reasons. The SafeDoc Chrome extension is installed directly from Chrome Web Store. The configuration file that is mentioned in Step 4 isn't uploaded. The license key in the configuration file is invalid, which is expired or misused. The student's email domain does not match the student domain of the license key. More information can be found in SafeDoc Common Issues. Find the link to these helping documents in the video description. Now you have SafeDoc working properly and displayed in green. It's time to test and explore Safe Dock features. You can find the list of Safe Dock features on the support page, see the link in the description. The following blocking features shall be sufficient for you to validate if Safe Dock works out of the box. Open any Google Doc, Sheet, Slides, Forms, or Drawing document. The image search and YouTube video search features are no longer accessible to students. Take Google Docs and Slide as examples. The insert image, and then search the web option is not visible anymore. SafeDoc also blocks similar menu entries in different places. As you know, the Search the Web Menu item can trigger the image searching side panel, which allows your students to search not safe for school images, but now it's removed. The Explore widget on the bottom right of Google Docs and Slides will be removed. Now verify a YouTube search option in Google Slides. Click the Slides, then Insert Menu, then Video. A dialog will pop up. It used to show YouTube searches in a search tab. However, SafeDoc can remove it for you. Students cannot search YouTube videos but type in Managed YouTube URL, which is safer. Now verify if all of your mock accounts in the organization unit have SafeDoc enabled in green. The student's email domain does not match the student domain of the license key. More information can be found in SafeDoc Common Issues. Find the link to these helping documents in the video description. Now you have SafeDoc working properly and displayed in green. It's time to test and explore SafeDoc features. You can find the list of safe dock features on the support page, see the link in the description. The following blocking features shall be sufficient for you to validate if safe dock works out of the box. Open any Google Doc, Sheet, Slides, Forms, or Drawing document. The image search and YouTube video search features are no longer accessible to students. Take Google Docs and Slide as examples. The insert image, and then search the web option is not visible anymore. SafeDoc also blocks similar menu entries in different places. As you know, the Search the Web Menu item can trigger the image searching side panel, which allows your students to search not safe for school images, but now it's removed.
the Explore widget on the bottom right of Google Docs and Slides will be removed. Now verify a YouTube search option in Google Slides. Click the Slides, then Insert Menu, then Video. A dialog will pop up. It used to show YouTube searches in a search tab. However, SafeDoc can remove it for you. Students cannot search YouTube videos but type in Managed YouTube URL, which is safer. Now verify if all of your mock accounts in the organization unit have SafeDoc enabled in green. Step 7. Configure Safe Dock. It's recommended to configure Safe Dock to block only some features by your school needs for performance. The initial policy configuration may block many features that your school regards as safe. To turn off some policies, please learn more about Safe Dock configuration. Step 8. Repeat the setup for the Production Student Organization Unit. Once you have tested the features of Safe Dock, repeat the setup for the Production Student Organization Units. Copy the policies text over. You can further set different policies for organization units. Upgrade license. Please note that the trial license key and the annual license key are two different keys. After you purchase the annual license, you will receive a new annual license key by email. Please follow these steps to activate the new license key. Sign into your Google Admin Console. Go to the devices, Chrome, apps, and extensions, and then select the Users and Browsers page. Under your Production Students Organization Unit, select Safe Doc. In the Policy for Extensions section of the right panel, replace the existing trial license key with the new annual license key. Click Save. The new license key will usually propagate to students' Chrome devices or browsers a few minutes after when they are online. But the process can also take up to 24 hours according to Google's documentation on how changes propagate to Google services. Uninstalling Safe Doc. Uninstalling SafeDoc from your students' Chrome devices or browsers follows a similar pattern. Sign into your Google Admin Console. Go to the Devices, Chrome, Apps, and Extensions, and then Users and Browsers page under the Production Students Organization Unit, select SafeDoc. On the right panel, click the Bin button, click Save. The extension will be automatically unloaded remotely from your students' Chrome browsers. OK now, let's wrap up this. Please take patience to configure enterprise-level applications. It's often more complex and error-prone than individual account setup. So if there are confusion in this article, please email us at support at